Hello and welcome everyone to episode 2 of A Portal to Starcraft, where today we're going to be looking at hotkeys and how to make them better. If you open Starcraft 2 and begin playing, you will notice that there are some of the keybinds which are awkward to say the least. Thankfully, within Starcraft 2, there is a function which allows you to rebind literally every key to a new button. And if you are wanting to get better at the game rather quickly, I would recommend taking advantage of this feature. But how do you optimize your own personal hotkey layout? Here are some things to take into consideration. First thing is button placement. This simply means you place your keybinds in a comfortable spot on the keyboard. This allows you the fastest reaction time to respond to an event in-game and hit keys accurately. This being so important to succeeding in StarCraft, given the speed of the game. In order to do this, I would recommend placing binds in a similar pattern to the grid layout, which is inbuilt into StarCraft as default. This means all key binds will be in the square between the Q button and the T button, reducing the need to reach fingers across the keyboard unnecessarily. The other thing to think about when making keybinds is finger splitting. Finger splitting is when you don't use the same finger to press two different buttons consecutively. An example being having high templar bound to the control group 2. You use your middle finger to select the control group. Then if storm is bound on the E button, you then use your pointer finger to use the ability. This is actually is a lot faster to execute than having to use the middle finger to perform both these actions. If you can take advantage of this rule, you'll have a much more comfortable time making your own keybinds. However, let's get onto the hotkey setup now. Control group 1 will be focused on and around your main army. Control group 2 will be based around your main spellcasters. Control group 3, if your Protoss or your Terran, will be based around your production buildings like your gateways and barracks. However, if you're playing Zerg, you can bind this to your Muters or your Vipers. Number four will be your main bases, your hatcheries, your nexuses, and your command centers. Number five is Harass. If you're playing Protoss, I would put my Warp Prism Harass here. Otherwise, Terran and Zerg, you can mix it up. But if you are Zerg, I'd also put my Queens on number five also. The Tilde button is also a hotkey here, which is another harassment button, so you have six hotkeys to play with. Tab, I would like you to put your Mothership Core onto. I've actually made this a keybind itself because it's so close and so easy to get to, and Mothership Core need to be split from the main army. Your Mouse Button 4 is another button that will make you select the next subgroup within a selection of units or buildings. Mouse Button 5 will be a previous subgroup, and F1 through to F4 are all your location keys. In order to use your hotkeys and your control groups effectively, you have modifiers. In this particular hotkey layout, your modifiers are control and shift. So to add units to a control group, yet remove them from another, you hold down shift and select a number. To create a control group and remove it from others, you hold down control and use a number. So by removing it from the other control groups, it means you haven't got to deselect them and then rebind them. It just automatically splits them from it and creates a new one, which is quite handy. In order to set up your location keys, you use the control modifier. Control plus Q is your main, control plus W is your natural, control plus E is your third, and control plus A is your fourth. In order to access these location keys, as I said before, is F1 through to F4. All unit abilities are hotkeyed similar to that of a MOBA, so all abilities will be in the range of Q, W, E, and R making them so easy to reach and very comfortable for many players to transfer between both of these. However, the only way to get better at a new hotkey setup is to simply practice. So stick with it and I'm sure you'll become fluent in no time. But for today, I'll be finishing this episode up. So if you enjoyed, please hit that like button and subscribe down below. And if you'd like to support further than YouTube itself, I have my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat in the description down below also. But in the next episode, I will be addressing a more advanced hotkey setup. This being the one I actually use in StarCraft 2. This is my adaptation of the core, so stay tuned for that episode. Bye bye.